Hi, everybody. All right, look, we got a couple cool things today. Um, we're having a party down on the mountain here in about two or three weeks, but today we're in the garage. So we made a couple things. What are we making today, Sarah? So we have this jar. Right. With a wick inside and you light it. <laughs> all right, so look, this is all we did, you guys. We got these jars at Hobby Lobby. It was like a buck a piece. And they don't have no writing on it or no like sketches on it. So they're just basically they're smooth. And what do we use? Put the chalkboard paint over it. It's spray paint, chalkboard. Yep, and we whoosh, 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 spray painted them so they look like this. So you can draw anything you want on it. Like what Sarah drawed, she draw the fancy. <laughs> so anyways, paint. it's it's chalkboard paint, so all you gotta do is wipe it off. So we made one of these, it lights up, spray paint it all, just drill a hole in the top of the can with a drill, and then you just fill it up, drop your wig down, you got a one oil burner. What else we got here? Yep. Yeah. We have another tiny jar, and we drilled a hole through the rock and the top of the jar. jar. And we put the wick inside, you can light it. And this is also chalkboard paint, so you can draw on that as well. Yep, and this is what it looks like. So we just took a rock like this. I think this is like a limestone rock. It was easy to drill a hole in. Give a drill. And drill a hole in the top of it. So if your jar looks like this, we just basically laid the rock on the top of the jar. So it would be like this. So if we use a on this one, we use just like a like a fatter and then a skinny rock on the top. And basically, we just filled this with oil, put a wick in the top. Drill it through. Let's see how that thing lights up. We just got a basically a fancy, and that's it. If you can see that or not. Cool, huh? There's our oil burning rock. So, what else we got going on here? We have a flower pot base and we have one of those jars down inside of there. We filled it with rocks, you can light it. And it's cool. This is what it looks like. This is just rocks from our driveway, but it's down in there. Yep, so if you got a dark spot at night and you just wanna kinda Make you a fancy little burner. We just bought this pot. It was like a Menards for a couple bucks. And basically we got one of these jars and spray painted the top silver, so put a hole oil. in the top, put a wick in it. And these make good, cool path lights. So we light it up and that's what she looks like. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, if you got a pathway or something, you can set one of those in. That's pretty neat. So that's a couple things we made for the uh, party we're going to have on the mountain in a couple weeks. So all you need, you guys, you can get this paint anywhere. Um, it's like seven bucks a can, but it lasts a long time. And then you can pick these wicks up. They're only like a buck. You get a couple of them. Then you got your oil burner and that's it the rest of it you just gotta kind of use your mind and now we got something cool um we made a bar top There's our bar top. Okay, so here's what we did. All this is, is a live edge piece. Let's turn that around. We need to that? stop it. I know. Okay. So look, this a live edge piece of wood I've, I've had sitting around. I wasn't for sure what I was gonna do with it. I thought it was cool and unique because it had live edge on the front and it had live edge going down the side on both sides. And that's what made it kind of cool. So I flaked off the, uh, 
loose bark on it and as I got to this side it had a bunch of bug holes and stuff in it which I thought was really really cool so I sanded it put a coat of polyurethane on the top and then on the underneath I just got two wine racks and screwed them in I got this and I got this bracket and these two brackets at Hobby Lobby this is your bracket that holds it up so when it goes against the wall pretty much looking at it like that and that middle one's going to be a towel rack. So, I'm going to set it down. Don't shine over here. I want to see all this going on. So, when it's set up, it's going to kind of throw your towel there in the middle in case you got somebody <laughs> doing some shots. They need their chin wiped off. <laughs> we got some cool glasses. Set your glasses on the top. If you like PBR, check that glass out. Put you a couple glasses on the top and for the bottom you just hang your wine glasses underneath I don't have any out here but basically you just go up underneath and hang your wine glasses up and that's it that's the bar rack if you guys uh, haven't seen the the new concept we're building Henry's go check it out it's uh, a new 12 by 18 concept it's gonna be like a cabin shed. So I don't know if I wanna hang this up in there or not. I just kinda of made this to make it. It's really, really neat though. You put polyurethane over it. Really shiny. It's not rough at all. It's super smooth at the top. Super smooth right here. It looks really good hanging up. I just do not have anywhere to hang it yet. So that's what we got going on. And we'll go up to the land here next time we go up. And we'll get our uh, new oil burning uh, things all set up. So that's it. Guys, thanks for watching. Peace out. See ya. <laughs>